Summer, like no other season, cracks my heart open like a shell, letting in new forms of light. I am a beach, and the days, like waves, wash over me, forcing me to grow and adapt, to love, to be present right now. What is your favorite memory from this year so far? Sometimes coming in intense bursts of light, a night or a conversation that promises never to fade. And when time seems to be getting away from me, I find joy in knowing that some things will always remain the same. Hey you guys, so today is le 14 juillet, donc c'est la fête nationale euh, et du coup aujourd'hui on a décidé euh, avec les autres euh, dans la résidence qu'on va regarder le feu d'artifice sur le toit parce que c'est quand même rare de grand chance euh, à Paris d'avoir un toit euh, et tout donc on va faire un petit apéro à 19h et j'ai invité euh, mes amis de nous rejoindre. I'm really excited though because I feel like one of the things I miss about living in the US is like the sort of spirit of like getting dressed up and like I remember um, on the 4th of July like with my family we would go to the park and like get like a big blanket and all sit together and watch the fireworks and we'd like paint our faces like red white and blue and just like put glitter all over and so it's kind of fun to do like the same thing here so I'm gonna do that tonight but yeah I just have to work a little bit harder in the afternoon because like I said I know that tomorrow like after a night of partying I'm probably gonna be like a little bit <laughs> so I'm gonna do that this afternoon I'm working on my horse I'm so excited to show you how my horse jumping over the moon has advanced in the last few days um, and like my other sculptures, how they have been coming along. My strawberries I covered with resin and look how beautiful they are. They have such like like a, a pretty gleam and this way they're not fragile anymore and I, I really like them. Also, I am pretty much finished with this sculpture. I'm so excited because I was trying out some new techniques and it actually ended up working out. I had put some resin uh, as a top coat and now it is super solid. I'm not worried about any of my pieces breaking or anything like that, which is really, really nice because it used to be a big issue for me before. The resin has given it almost kind of uh, like a ceramics type effect, which I think is really cool because I don't have access to um, an oven to make like actual like pottery and things like that. So it's really nice when you find like alternative techniques to give the same effect. So this is what I'm going to be working on this afternoon. It's the horse part, the top part of my horse jumping over the moon. Um, that over there is the rest of the sculpture. It's like in different pieces, so you can't really see, but um, I'm going to continue covering um, 
the open spaces with the plaster bands and then I'm gonna cover it with resin, I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna assemble it with the moon and then the bottom part. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to do all that today, but I'm just going to try and get, try and get as ahead as I can. I really like that the horse is kind of abstract in a way. I don't think that I'm gonna paint it like an actual horse. I think I'm gonna do like maybe like a powder blue or a powder green. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the paintings that Chagall does, but it's very abstract animals and I really like doing that in my sculptures as well. I think that it gives like a more naive and nostalgic kind of um, look at it. souvenir de l'année oh. All the time I spend with you guys oh. What is the intro to Macbeth? Oh my god, I remember now, it's like Boil and bubble <laughs> Yeah, this is like really oh. Everybody put your hands in Let's dream of beautiful things. <laughs> okay, Chacha, what's your favorite souvenir of this year? My favorite souvenir of this year? That was... There are a lot. Yeah. The best is when I gave my demission. Damon, what is your favorite memory from this year so far? Yes! Okay, Six so months in. For real though, it was when I went to the Netherlands. Um, I don't know if you saw that video, Shayna. <laughs> My Netherlands doc I've seen all of your documentaries. Have you ever seen my documentary? I did see it. That, that documentary was awesome. Okay, that was truly one of my favorite times. I was completely alone, didn't know anybody there. Oh, it's there, it's there. Okay. You got it? Am I okay, there? wow. Seriously? Like Hey how, guys! <laughs> like how many YouTubers does it take to turn on the camera? What is your best memory of this year so far? Of this year? Yeah. Having having my studio. Uh, I'm meeting you. Uh, Best memory? Um, my travel in Chile. <laughs> I feel like one of the best moments has just been now. Oh, okay. We got Malaika in the building. <laughs> How crazy. I was just oh. saying, poor taxpayers, which is us. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be a beautiful background to my video. <laughs> it's 35 minutes of this. I mean, I work hard. I love France, I love Paris, and I love fireworks. <laughs> Guys, 
today is gonna be such an awesome day. I'm so excited. First of all, I'm wearing all white today. All white, all white, some old clothes because um, I don't know if you guys know this or if I said this, but at the end of the month, they're actually destroying the building that I'm in residence in and we're moving buildings. But to kind of celebrate the end of the residency, we were like brainstorming like what kinds of fun activity we could do, what kind of party theme or whatever. And I was talking to my friend and I was like, well, since they're destroying the building, we should do something like really messy. And I was like, why don't we get like a bunch of like different color painting paints and like have like a paint fight and we talked about it with like everybody in the building and everyone thought it was like a really awesome idea so the idea is that we all come in white <laughs> all in white and then we have like this paint fight out um in the courtyard and then at the end we're all gonna have like a trace of this experience that we shared together and i was especially excited because i feel like sometimes whenever i give like my ideas to french people they kind of look at me like i'm crazy but people were on board this time i think it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna have like spiked lemonade and just like i just love the idea of just like being able to get messy so i look amish you guys but i wore this on my head because i'm trying to not get paint in my hair but it's kind of a vibe i kind of like it and I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what I've been working on. Yeah, we have had lots of progress. The other day I started DIYing some clothes from my vintage shop. I'm actually gonna be doing like a thrift haul soon. So I'll show you all of that. The other day at the thrift shop, I picked up some really cool like fake grass. And I think it's gonna look so cool in a sculpture. My little horse. So I painted the horse blue and I covered it in resin. It's the morning right now, so the lighting isn't great, but yeah, you can kind of see. So cool, this is like, mm, I love it. So last time I had told you guys that the middle piece of this sculpture actually broke and I wasn't able to repair it myself. So I actually had to make a whole new moon because the sculpture, as y'all know, is going to be a horse jumping over the moon. And so, but my moon cracked. So I'm going to, um, the wood shop because they actually have a wood shop at the art residency and they kind of like if you have a project they'll like they have people that are, have like a lot of experience with like wood and things so i'm gonna do that <laughs> and I spent like about an hour working on the middle piece of my sculpture and this is how she ended up turning out. It's basically just, you know, a circle. But it was more difficult than it looked because I actually had to um, put two circles together and had to cut it out of the wood and cutting a circle in, a, in the wood can be kinda, kinda difficult because you gotta get those edges right. So, da da da! And then it's going to go on this piece, the, the, and then I will put my horse on this piece. I just really hope that it can support the weight, you know, because it's very heavy. I have an hour before the party, so I decided that I am going to finish editing my podcast episode. So if you guys don't know, I have a podcast and I always forget to say it, so I'm saying it now. On my Patreon page, I have a podcast and I release um, two podcast episodes a month about whatever you guys want talking about confidence talking about like my experiences in France, etc So if you guys want to subscribe to that you can and I'm gonna go edit I am editing a podcast all about my craziest travel stories and oh man do I have some <laughs> hitchhiking couch surfing all of those experiences <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then after that we're gonna party. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is hot as balls in here. I'm literally sweating so bad. It's like one of the really bad things about having um, 
these windows I mean I honestly can't complain because it just is so beautiful but it does get kind of hot in here sometimes so I keep a fan on and yeah sometimes sometimes when I'm like super hot I'll just take like a bottle of water and just like douse myself in it but yeah thank god I'm a Florida girl and I'm used to the heat so let's go edit that podcast and this guy stopped and he said that we could come sleep at his house. And he was like this kind of older farmer type guy. You know, like I didn't see any threat. And Rob was like, no, no, we're not going with him. And I was like, no, he seems like really nice. And so I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up and I was like laying on the couch. I woke up and like, I kid you not, he was three inches from my face, like standing over me. And I go, oh my God. I will survive. I will survive. 